right, it's time for the Jockstrap Sports MMA Podcast. All right, welcome to Jockstrap... Whoa, wow, that, that was messed up. <laughs> Leave this in, by the way. Welcome to the Jockstrap Sports uh, UFC Podcast. We're doing UFC 239, Jones versus Santos, during Interla- International Fight Week in Las Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena. Um, I don't know if you've ever... You haven't been... I know you haven't been to any International Fight Weeks, but it's pretty sweet because there's all the... They, like, pay all the legends to go out there and they make appearances at different bars and stuff. I've been to a few of them. Uh, not recently, but the first few that they ever had. And it was pretty sweet. Met, like, Dan Severn and just a bunch of old fighters and it was pretty sweet. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, if you don't start talking, I'm going to say it's sweet, like, four more times. Anyway... I wanted to just break down part of the card. I'm not going to break down all of it just because I don't know some of these earlier fighters. Uh, the card to layman, maybe not hardcore UFC fi- fans or MMA fans, kind of looks uh, lackluster till you get to the main card. But some of these fights are really well. Prelim, Claudia Gadea against Ronda Marcos. And it's uh, right before the main event prelim. And it's... I, I, I'm picking Claudia Gadea to win this one. I do I do, do my picks, and we, we normally go through the lines, but I don't know. I We'll probably skip that. I don't think Adam has it set up. Uh, I didn't even say. I'm, I'm Justin from Off you know, the Score Pod. Yeah. What were you saying? What's up? And I'm Adam. I do have them, I do have them up. Oh, just, okay. uh, unfortunately, um, I went to uh, reload our Bovada account, and uh, my bank, of course, thinks it's a, you know some sort of scam because it's, it's a, a scam. international right international transaction so haven't been able to reload so we got a bounce of a big old goose egg because of our fine. last episode but uh that's claudia fine. gadea coming in at minus 240 yeah that's probably about right i think she's just gonna out wrestle ronda marcos ronda marcos is I don't know, she's nine and six she had some pretty exciting fights she deserves to be in the ufc and deserves a fight like this but claudia's just gonna outdo her i think i think she'll all wrestle her the next one is the main main prelim i believe it's on espn it might not be but i think it is it's gilbert melendez against arnold allen dude gilbert melendez is awesome i love this guy he was on an episode of uh uh anthony bourdain tony bourdain uh no reservations i think it was no reservations uh him and the diaz brothers were on it he went to i think stockton and and they went around and ate food with him and I think they smoked pot and stuff. Not in the episode because it was like on CNN, but you know they smoked pot. Anyway, uh, sounds about right. Yeah, Gilbert. Yeah, remember when we did the pot smoking ones and it was like Nate Diaz. And everyone that I I, I do. Yeah, everybody like, that was on the list was somehow associated to Nate Diaz. Yeah, and yeah. and well, the Diaz brothers as a whole. Right, the Diaz brothers. Well, Gilbert Melendez is associated to them. Um, anyway. Uh, Gilbert is over. Uh, he's over his prime. He's on the downswing. He, I believe, he owns like a gym and a training center. And it's like, dude, good for you. Maybe just hang out there because Arnold Allen's gonna beat him, and it's gonna be nasty, and it's gonna be inside distance. Um, I don't know if you have that line. Purely basing off the uh, off the lines, I I would have to agree with you because Arnold Allen is coming in at minus four hundred. Yeah, that's right. That's about right. Melendez is going to come out. He's going to look all stiff and tall, and just he's going to get battered. Next one, Michael Chiesa against Diego Sanchez. Diego, the Nightmare Sanchez. Maybe he should be Diego, the Zombie Sanchez. This dude has been... Wow, that was so corny. I feel like one of those (laughs) fucking bad announcers. Um, Diego was in... first uh the ultimate fighter house on spike tv he's been around that long his last fight he looked really good he's very talented he's i don't know he keeps revamping his game michael chies is really good though um uh, michael chies recently lost to anthony pettis uh which isn't a bad loss oh my gosh Looking at the numbers and everything, I think you have to say Michael Chiesa, but my heart goes to Diego Sanchez, so I'm just going to pick Diego Sanchez, which means he'll lose. But, yeah, I'm picking Diego Sanchez. Probably distance. It'll probably be a distance thing. Well, you know, you, uh, you should always go with your gut, never with your heart, because Michael Chiesa, minus 305. Yeah, I, I went with my gut my heart, though, so I'm going with my heart. 
All right, next. <laughs> well, uh, go going with your heart, Diego Sanchez, at a plus 235. So money to be made there Yeah, if you're willing to risk. Yeah. Then we get to the main card, and the main card at 205 light heavyweight, Jan Blakowicz versus Luke Rockhold. Luke Rockhold, a middleweight. But he's really just a big middleweight. He's 6'3", and he's he is like really chiseled. He, he's full of muscle, and he's strong. He's a hell of a wrestler. Jan Blakowicz has been wrestling a lot. When Jan came on the on the scene, I, I I put early money on him, and he won me a bunch of money. And I I really like this guy for all those reasons. Man, Luke is really good. Luke's first fight in the UFC he fought a roided up uh, Vitor Belfort and got head kicked into Bolivian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was coming from. I just love course. that description. Head yeah. kicked into Bolivian. Yeah, no, and we we're actually in uh, Vegas when it was going on, and it was I think it was an early fight. I think it was over overseas or anything, and Vitor was an underdog, and I knew what Vitor was doing, and we put a bunch of money on Vitor. I think he was like plus 200 too something like that just because he's old oh wow yeah anyway um luke should win this i uh, oh man if i go with my heart i go with Jan. but i'm going with luke i think luke will win this luke coming in minus 185 yeah that's smart probably, choice going with your gut there yeah that's probably about right uh next one ben Askren against jorge masvidal uh, Jorge Masvidal. Do you know a person called Kimball Slice? Do you know him? I, I, I do. I remember the good old uh, backyard fight series with, with Kimbo. Yeah, so Jorge was in those videos too. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Jorge Masvidal recently had a jiu-jitsu match against Anthony Pettis. And he knows his jiu-jitsu. He knows his wrestling. Ben Askren is a kind of a pure wrestler. Um, the way Ben Askren showed against Robbie Lawler makes me think Jorge Masvidal is going to win this fight. If it's a repeat Ben Askren, same guy coming out, I got Jorge Masvidal. And I'm just going to pick Jorge Masvidal to win. I think he'll get this one. Taking the underdog at a plus two or plus 195. Yeah, so he actually started at like plus 250 i believe and money was money is being oh, dropped wow. on jorge yeah i think it's going to get close to even towards the end of this um co-main event for the 135 women's belt amanda nunez versus holly holm i'm going to be picking the favorite in this one i like holly holm holly holm cracked the ronda code or whatever head kicked her and knocked her out Amanda is so fast. She's so strong. I got Amanda Nunez winning this one. And I have Amanda Nunez not losing for a little while here until some kind of a heck of a contender comes. Amanda Nunez is on the top of her game right now. Yeah, she she, she really is. Uh, coming in minus 360. Yeah, figured as much. I don't see either of these belts changing hands. So the main event is a light heavyweight. It's uh, John Jones versus Tiago Santos. John Jones, I mean, this is the first time he's actually fighting, I believe, like three times in like a year to defend the belt because he had all these issues and all these problems. Um, Good on him for actually being able to fight so many times in in a year Uh, against Tiago Santos, who is a beast. Dude runs a school for underprivileged kids doesn't charge him anything he i mean he wasn't stand up dude yeah he was an underprivileged kid lives in brazil um i mean i if i would put money on anyone i'd put money on tiago santos john jones is gonna win though he's gonna evade the big bombs by that santos throws santos is gonna get really tired in the third and John Jones is going to win inside distance. But if I were to put any money down, I'd put it on Tiago Santos and get that, what, plus 600 money? What What do you think it was going to be? Plus 600. Plus what? Oh, S- not quite. Plus 400. Plus 400? Oh. Yeah. John okay. Jones coming in minus 600. Okay. I thought John Jones would be more about, like, minus 1,000, that kind of thing. Man. 
maybe a lot of people are thinking like you, kind of flipping the well, flipping the seesaw back in in Tiago's favor. Obviously, well, yeah. not his favor at all, but you know, a little closer. Yeah. Well, so when these fighters get more and more fights stacked up, sooner or later they're going to lose one. It might even be like a fluke. I mean, DJ Demetrius Johnson, who is probably the best pound for pound fighter still lost one against henry cejudo just by it was like a weird game plan that he didn't he didn't seem to have an answer for which he did have an answer for before um yeah so one of these times and you want to be in the money when it happens so it's kind of like from now out kind of like when uh ronda rousey was going it was like from uh, Kat Zangano's fight. It's like from now on, I'm betting against her. That's how I would be with John Jones right now. I'd be I'm betting against him from now on, just because so, until sooner, he loses. Yeah, Eventually, gonna, you're gonna make your money. It's gonna happen sooner or later. I mean, you don't put a lot of money on it. Maybe you start with five bucks, and then the next time you double it, ten bucks. So you get your five bucks back, and then next time you go, uh, twenty bucks. You know, sooner or later, it's gonna. Oh, happen. absolutely. Yeah, it's gonna happen sooner or later. So, that's a UFC 239 card. I mean, I really should have introduced this this uh, episode because we have a game that we're going to actually play in this episode. Um, I wish For the I first done... time ever. Yeah. I, I really wish I would have, like, did a better introduction. I apologize, listeners. But we're doing a game. It's okay. You know, you, for, you forgot how to say Jockstrap Sports. Yeah, I did. Like, four times. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a game. We're hosting our own UFC International Fight card in celebration, celebration in honor. I don't know what the right adjective is for Toy Story 4. And we're going to make three main card fights with, no, four main card fights so it's even, so that we each pick a first. Because if someone, whoever picks the first character is at a, is at a disadvantage. You know what I mean? Oh, so, absolutely. Yeah. So we're doing a four, four fight main card with UFC Toy Story characters. Only the toys, not the humans. Otherwise, I would pick Sid and just whoop you. So, all right, you, you, you get the <laughs> yeah. Gist, no fireworks though. allowed. Yeah, yeah. You get the gist, though, right? We're, we're gonna. Oh yeah. Okay, so we'll have you pick the first character, and then I'll go, and then we'll do like a snake, and then I'll pick this second lead character and then you go that kind of thing is that all right that sounds great to me okay so the first fight adam you're up toy story fight only number one you know thinking kind of kind of prelim um obviously we're, we're we're spanning any of the toy story movies correct yeah but i'm not going prelim on this i'm, I'm bringing some heavy hitters dude oh this is like like a a, a four fight just Co 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 main event. Yeah, I, if anything, the first. I love fights, it. If anything, the first fight's the main event because you, you can't use these guys twice. So you, you're picking. That's the, true. Yeah, you're picking the heavy hitters. You know, then right off the bat, you know, I'm going to go Buzz Lightyear. That that's a good. You know, he was up on mine. That's a really good one. Um, I'm going to go Rocky. Rocky, <laughs> what's his last name? Gibraltar, the wrestler from the first Toy Story. Do you remember him? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think Rocky could take just the, the the like wrestling like bodybuilder guy. Yeah, and I believe he picked where's up. The, like, where's the yellow yellow like leotard? Yeah, I, I think he picked up. Picks uh, up Buzz Light or picks up Woody and throws him out the window. Yes, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'd be a good fight. That is a good fight. I, I kind of I feel you know, bad that's... wasting him, but I need a chance to beat Buzz. So, yeah, you know, Buzz, Buzz is a tough one to come up against. So, yeah. so I, I I get why you went with him. Yeah, all right. So I like it. You know, I All think right. it'd be a good fight. The next one, 